Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, making a short video to show you how to upgrade the battery in your Harley Davidson. We're actually using our 2014 Electroglide Police. We've nicknamed it Project 5.0. We're going to be putting Excess Power's 925 series large lithium battery. This is the biggest one that they make that will fit in stock location, and we're going to show you just how to install it on your Harley. So hang out and watch the process. All right, I've already removed our seat, simple Phillips screw, got our seat off. Uh, that's not gonna be like that for long. We'll be putting the Robert Becker design seat lock on it soon. But now that our seat's off, however yours comes off, whether it be a thumb screw, a Phillips screw, or a lock, uh, take the seat off and you'll see your battery cover. Uh, we're gonna disconnect our fuel sending unit. We're also going to unclip our police wiring harness, or this is normally a light harness that's on most of the bikes anyways. Get those over to the side. We're going to unplug any additional connectors on top of the box, including our ECM. So one of the reasons we want to put a lock on our seat is our ECM is actually right under here. And quite often now we're hearing stories about people getting their seat stolen and their ECM stolen. Next, we have two 13 millimeter screws just to the back here we're going to remove. All right, so in this box earlier in life, it was a police bike and we've seen that they have broke off the front portion of this plastic cover. Normally there's a hoop here that fits over top of this metal clip and secures the battery in. They just have it where it bolts in. It's holding it just fine. Next, we're gonna disconnect our battery. So we've got a Phillips bolt on each side. Take that off. Keep in mind, whatever wires are connected now, you're gonna to have to reconnect later. So we have our main power that goes down to our motor, and then we have our additional power wire here that runs up to our police uh, radio wiring where we've added the, the wiring for an aftermarket radio. I'm gonna remove our negative post as well. So we have our one big negative post and our small negative wire that is running up to our radio. This bike doesn't have a lot of additional features on it yet. We hope to add some more later. Most of these bikes are gonna have a pull strap like this. Once you get your wires undone, simply pull this, and it's gonna help you lift that heavy battery out of the hole. Now this is one of the factory AGM Harley batteries. It's only 405 cranking amps. So let me show you our new battery and what we're gonna be putting in it. All right, so let's check out the battery that was in there. Now this is a, a pretty old bike. Uh, this bike is a 14 model, so if it was the factory battery, we're looking at about eight years old. So it's definitely time to upgrade it. But this is the Harley AGM sealed battery. It's a 405 cranking amp battery with a 28, hour, 28 amp hour rating. So let's check out our new lithium battery. This is also pretty heavy. All right, our lithium battery, so much easier on my back. This thing is super light. 2,160 max amps, and our cranking amps are 1,620. We're over four times the cranking amps of the stock battery. On top of that, we've got 70 amp hours. So that's how long this battery has a reserve, how long it will allow you to play without the bike running. So we're putting this large Hertz SP4.900 amp in here. It pulls about 54 amps of current, which would work on a stock AGM battery. So this isn't a necessity, but we're gonna be at the hog rally next week. We'll be in Daytona in the spring. We play this bike all day long. We wanna make sure we have a good battery that has plenty of reserve power, and we're gonna make sure that we have a good charger on it while we're at those events. Now, this battery's a little different. Our other battery had top posts. The 925 is the biggest battery that will fit, but the way that it fits is just like you see it here with side posts. So we're gonna to have to connect those, those wires while the battery's out a little bit and then drop it into place to have access to bolt it in. But it's a little bit different on how it goes in, but it's worth the extra work for all the extra power you get out of the battery. All right, so these factory terminals have a 90 on them to go on the top post. I'm gonna bend these some because now we're going on this side post with a pair of pliers. It's just gonna make it easier to get these bolted up.
Now those are both bent and ready to go on our side post. All right, so we're gonna take our new lithium battery. We're gonna do just like factory, we're gonna leave that cloth in place so it'll help us lift it out later. Sometimes it's hard for finger grip, uh, the fingertip strength to pull the battery up. I'm gonna drop it in first and I'll use that cloth to lift it up to where I want it to be to do the wiring. All right, so now that it's in there, I want you to see the battery's gonna come with me show you one. It's going to come with these Allen head bolts. I find they're very difficult to use on the side in a Harley, but the factory bolts, which are a 10 millimeter head, a wrench will go on, go right into this battery. It's the same thread. So I just reuse the stock bolts. So let's get our battery lifted up just enough for me to secure this in. You see, it's not real difficult with that strap. This isn't real heavy, but I'm going to take our negative from our amp. I'm going to put our, start our bolt in it. I'm going to take our bolt here, our, our, sorry, our ring terminal here from our radio. I'll lift this battery up just enough to where it'll let me start this bolt in the side of it. All right, so I've got that started. I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter wrench and just tighten this down. Now you're gonna see these ring terminals are gonna bend some, making way for the fact that this is a recessed terminal. Our ECM over a little bit, try to give a better view. You'll probably have a better view of our positive terminal as we do this, as we lift it back up. Definitely want to make sure that your battery terminals go all the way tight. So that one's tight. Now I can lift my battery up and you can see that terminal. You can also lift it back up to get your positive started. So let me get our other bolt and do that. So again, just starting through our amp harness, making sure we reconnect our radio wiring and our stock harness here. I'm just gonna bring it up enough that I can hand start this bolt into that hole. Be careful as you do this that you don't let your wrench touch the metal of the bike. That would definitely cause a short. It might hurt you or harm you. You don't want to do that. Finish it up with the open end. So the benefits of lithium, not only does this have a tremendous amount of extra cranking amps, very, very long reserve life as far as amp hours, but it actually recharges almost five times faster than an AGM battery. So it is an added cost. It's gonna last a much longer life. We're expecting a 10 year life out of these batteries. Um, they don't come with a 10 year warranty, so I don't wanna mislead you in any way, but we expect a much longer life out of them. And we do have a lithium charger. You will have to make sure that you have a lithium specific charger as far as your battery tender. Your AGM charger will no longer work. And we'll go over that here in just a couple minutes. But four times the cranking amps, almost four times the reserve power, and on top of that, a much longer life while being much, much lighter. So I think we're gonna get good use out of it here and it's gonna allow our system to sound its best. One other thing is low power. So if you're the type that does listen to your stereo with your bike turned off, you're gonna end up pulling your battery down and anytime you drop below 12 volts, you risk damaging your amplifier. 
You also make your amp clip early, which could blow your speakers. So it's a good idea if you're the type that does that to have a much longer amp hour battery to make sure that you don't pull it down to the point that you damage your speakers or your amplifier. All right, so we've got a little bit of extra wire here from our amp. We're gonna put our fuse holder down here in front of the battery, down low, and then we're just gonna take this wiring and put it down here as well. It's gonna be out of the way. It's gonna look good when we take our seat off as well. So we're gonna put it down low. And let's get our cover back on. ECM back in place, snap our harnesses back where they go. And look how clean it looks under the seat. Four times bigger battery, power and ground for the amp, quick disconnects for our speaker lids, and it all looks really good under the seat. It's not a rat's nest of wiring. So let's talk more about this battery and show you how you can purchase one. All right, so I wanna quickly show you how you can adapt your original AGM charger, your trickle charger cord that went to your bike to your new lithium charger. So Excess Power makes this LI-1208. It's 12 volt, eight amp charger meant for lithium batteries. It's a smart charger, you can leave it plugged in and it's gonna automatically cut on and off just like any of the battery tenders would. But in the box, it comes with these two huge alligator clips. Uh, you know, it's kind of a pain to take your seat off to hook a charger up like this. So we always take the original end and we connect it here. And I wanted to show you how to do that. So on our factory end, we're going to see that it's actually marked positive and negative. Positive is the terminal that is sticking outward. Okay, now on the bike, that's going to be the opposite. It's going to be the, the recessed or the female plug on the bike to make sure that the positive isn't out where it would ever short into something. But it's exposed on this plug. So if we follow that all the way down to the other end, I've actually seen that our, our wiring is actually smooth on one side and it's got a ridge on the other. Uh, and this is our positive terminal. So I'm going to take our positive alligator clip. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to strip it back. And I'm using a non-insulated crimp terminal. This is how we normally do our wiring, along with some heat shrink tubing. So I'm gonna put that in here. We're gonna crimp it, make sure that we have a good solid connection. Then we just pull our heat shrink tubing over it, hit it with a little torch, so that we don't have to worry about water ever getting into here, like so. So I'm gonna repeat that same process on our negative. Very, very easy to do. And this is gonna allow us to plug into that factory charge terminal. This does up to eight amps. The factory charge terminal normally has a 10 amp fuse in it, so we should be good as far as not worrying about that having to be changed or having it fail for any reason. So quick torch over this heat shrink tubing, shrink it down. Then now I just don't wanna leave this exposed, so we're gonna grab some Tessa tape, just like we use on all of our amp harnesses. Grab this end and start wrapping it. And that quick and easy, we have now adapted our charger to our factory port. Very, very simple task. I hope this is something you realize is definitely easy enough you can do. The most important part though is just making sure that your positive goes to the positive on the charger. Then you just plug it in a bike, plug it in the wall, and you've got something to keep your battery charged. Now, with the lithium batteries from Excess Power, your factory stator and charging system will charge it while riding. So this isn't something you have to do every time you come park, but if you're gonna sit somewhere, you know, if, if you're the type like me, maybe you work way too much, you get to ride way too little, and it sits in storage a lot, you need to put a tender on it just to get the maximum life out of your battery. All right, let's get back to the bike. All right, so I just showed you how you can install an LIS 925 Harley battery 
It's a lithium battery from Excess Power in your motorcycle. They're available right now at www.volunteeraudio.com. Just go to the motorcycle section, look up the batteries, and you'll see it available there for purchase. Uh, excellent battery, super lightweight, super long life, and extremely powerful. One other thing, once charged, they sit at rest about 13 and a half volts, so you're gonna get the most power out of your amplifier as well with that extra power. Thanks for watching. I hope this encouraged you to tackle change in your own battery. Hope it showed you some things maybe you didn't know and taught you a little bit about lithium batteries and that technology. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video. If you have questions, comment below and continue to follow Project 5.0. We've got a lot of awesome things we're going to do to this bike. And I hope you get to visit us or see us at one of the shows we attend and get to check out this bike in person. Thank you so much. God bless.